A 3D printer helped save a local man's life. Here is Zinnia Maldonado. After three brain surgeries, 63-year-old Greg Morrison received not so great news. My skull that they had put back was starting to deteriorate. As part of his skull was caving in, his neurosurgeon, Dr. Natish Patel of Jersey Shore University Medical Center, got to work. His team was able to construct a 3D model of Morrison's skull and then a replacement piece for the decaying fragment thanks to a 3D printer. We can take a CAT scan, replicates Greg's anatomy in 3D, take that, identify the defect of what's missing, print out a perfect puzzle piece. Morrison, an engineer and Navy vet, first suffered a brain bleed two years ago, which required two surgeries and then a third when a brain tumor was discovered. Very few patients can go through what he got, went through and come out looking this good. And Dr. Patel, what was the biggest challenge you faced when performing this type of surgery? The challenge, of course, was timing. In Greg's case, not only were we able to beat the time factor, but we were also able to modify the anatomy. After his final surgery in November, the Jersey Shore native has since fully recovered and is back at work. By his side, George, the original replica of his skull. How it makes me feel is joyous that I'm able to sit there and have a replicant of me. Morrison hopes his story serves as inspiration for those battling a fight that seems impossible to win. I truly want people, no matter how challenging the obstacle is, to know there's hope. From Neptune, New Jersey, Zinnia Maldonado, CBS News, New York.